turn all these on? Yep. If this were our picnic, we would be the ones cooking and the firefighters would be sitting As a matter of fact, I'm rolling out my list cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're such a apologist. All right. <laughs> Yummy. It's good stuff. And as long as I don't have to cook, I'm very happy. Two metal. Two metal. Yeah. 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 I think this is an event. The reason that I wanted to do this was that if anyone doubts that it takes a village and that it takes a community uh, to protect us to make sure we can enjoy the benefits of this magnificent place we call home. Uh, what we've seen and experienced over the last many years uh, really dispels any question people might have that it certainly does take a village. It takes people who are committed to protecting us, to working hard to make sure that we're safe. You know, there are many of us who have lived in this community going back to the Sycamore Canyon fire in the 70s. Of course, none of the firefighters because they're all young. And then a few years later, we had the Paradise Cave Fire. And then we had the Zaka Fire last year. And we had the Gap Fire this year. And what is so incredible and amazing is that when the firefighters got together, certainly our firefighters from Santa Barbara County and Santa Barbara City, but from all over the area, and that's why we uh, invited firefighters from our community to come because they banded together. There was no question that, well, it's in your backyard, so we're not going to worry about it. This is what community in a village is all about, that we all came together. And we are so appreciative and so grateful for your work. and Very, very hard work. It's risky work. Uh, it's dangerous. It takes our firefighters away from their families for weeks at end. Uh, they really are the heroes that who are too often unsung. And so um, I want to thank you personally. I would like uh, the firefighters, if you would all come up here, and I would like the community, uh, if you would all give them a major round of applause and thanks for your extraordinary work. Would you come on up? Come on, guys. are they heroes, they're good looking, and they know how to cook. <laughs> right, come on, folks. We thank you so much. You know, um, it is true, though, uh, when, you at, when we asked the firefighters if they would come and be honored, they did say only if they could cook. <laughs> so this is a busman's holiday. I was also told that some of the, the, uh, the newer members, th for them, this is actually cooking school 
And for a couple, including myself, uh, this is remediation time. So, um, you know, we, we, we see their great work when they save our homes. You know, this last fire, we lost no homes, is that right? A few out buildings. No homes, no lives. And if I'm not mistaken, because of your help, we're still here at Stowe Grove Park. This was an area that was at risk. But you are part of the investment that we make as a community uh, in the resources, and we want to make sure that you are well taken care of and most importantly appreciated uh, by all of us for what you do. Uh, but we also have members of the community who have stepped up. People who donated food or volunteered include Vicki Allen, uh, Brulard's Catering, County Catering, Democratic Service Club, Fresco at Five Points, Gelson's, Giordano's, Angie Lawson, who's doing this absolutely awesome face, face painting. Thank you, Lazy Acres, Smart and Final, Julie Kessler-Solomon, Starlight Bakery, Woody's, Katie Cleary, and Devin Zahn, who are going to be doing massages for the firefighters for free. You know, we, we think of things oftentimes in the abstract, but when you kind of pierce it all or parse it all down, we're just all a bunch of people and families, and uh, we have faces, and you have faces, and I think it would be appropriate to put them together so you know how much we appreciate and what you did for all of us. So, Sergio, who is the vice president of the Santa Barbara County Firefighters 2046. Sergio has been wonderful to work with. Um, uh, the, these folks are truly public servants in the highest, uh, the highest regard. And uh, we, when we look at, when we hear about public service, these are the folks we should be thinking of because they really do us proud. And Sergio, thank you for all you and the folks have done. So a couple words, if you would. All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for showing up, uh, the citizens, elected officials, uh, fellow coworkers. Uh, we really couldn't do the job without your support, and um, you know, thanks for everything you do uh, for us and all the support you give us. Uh, that's it. <laughs> kind of lost for words, but thank you. Thank you. These are people whose uh, actions speak louder than their words, and probably most of us politicians should take note. Um, are there folks in the community who would like to step up? If uh, it's always like a storybook story that's going on while you guys are up there taking care of the fire. And it's, uh, this is the first opportunity I've had to actually see faces. And I just appreciate you guys individually for doing that. I just want to ask, it didn't take long. Thank you, Frank. Yes, Joni. Well, we're the Joneses from May Court. We're at the turn in Patterson. And uh, we also uh, lived through the Penny Cave fire without getting burned. So I guess this was a re-stimulation. Uh, we got evacuated on the Thursday night, and we had some of the stuff that was uh, important to us in our cars. Uh, but uh, we went to a friend's house that evening and uh, went to bed not knowing whether we'd come back to a house or not. I do appreciate it. I personally have always considered you my hero. I think the community also feels the same way. They're here today. We're all here. We send you our, our prayers and best wishes. We know there will be other fires, and we thank you in advance for protecting us and keeping us safe. Thank you all, and thank you all for being here. We're going to give these to the firefighters um, as well. One to Santa Barbara County, one to Ventura County, although they w couldn't be here today. I know they sent up a bunch of trucks and they were fighting side by side. Uh, just another example of people coming together and working together for the sake of our community and the people that they serve. Thank you all. Thanks very much.